Good evening. This is Tina. In this video, <laughs> I'm gonna show you the code to uh, demo or to explain or to demonstrate how a uh, session is being maintained uh, by web container through HTTP session. Okay, the thing happened behind the thing. So here uh, we were I were using the same code, but here um, other things is exactly same. Uh, follow if you are following the playlist, exactly same. Okay, uh, I just create a, add a form here. The reason is I, I don't want to spend time just working on this simple form. Okay, uh, the form is pretty simple. Just to have a username and a password. Okay, the action is the login, which is go to the post. Okay, the for demo purpose, what I'm gonna do is I will write, write a login and uh, server it. And if it's logged in, the username is a username and a password which matches the 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 hard coded one. I will go to the logged in page, and otherwise I will redirect back to the login page. Okay. So let's go. Uh, I will create a login servlet. And here, uh, let me put this thing here. It extends uh, HTTP servlet, OK? And here, we add a web servlet. And the URL is slash login, OK? And here, we will override the uh, two. To get, we just display the uh, form, this form, this form, okay? How to do that? You can do, you, you, it has two ways, okay? The first way is we can uh, forward to this uh, login.html. I think, I think it should be work, but not 100% certain. Let's try, okay? Uh, request dot get a special servlet login dot html dot forward and uh, here we we can do uh, so here request and response okay let's see if it works okay this one I'm not 100% certain and do post and do post what we do is we will get Get, get the username, the value, and the password, value of password. How to get is to using the parameter, right? Request dot get parameter. And here we're using username and the string password. And using request dot get a parameter. And here we're using password, right? Oh, sorry. And this username password, what are the value? The value of a name attribute. Okay, name attribute. And here I will just say hard coded. Okay, if okay, if miss ah oh, oh. And dot equals ignore case your name and uh, password. Let's use an XNG. Okay equals ignore case password okay and then if they are equals your name and the password if they are equals then i will uh, forward to the result pay i will add the http session Yo, i think this is uh, this is the card okay to format i will do is uh, http session okay get a session equals request dot get a session and we can using session dot set attribute uh, this attribute is uh, stored on server side which is in tomcat okay cookie is stored in the browser side but a session attribute is stored on the server side uh, uh, attribute let's using is uh, logged in and we're using true, okay? Attribute is an object, okay? 
the value can be any object and here user uh, I will use a new user object how about that and the username first name is username and the last name is using password okay and just a demo hope you understand that okay and then if it's logged in in the post you always should do a redirect don't forward okay uh, response p response start send redirect and here we go to how about we just go to result page go to result page okay and here we comment and uh, we add a new code about the result okay uh, let me what should i do oh here oh, no, no no here okay the code below is result page for uh HTTP session demo HTTP session which is the login server late okay, demo okay and here we still we will also get a HTTP session and the session equals request dot get a session and what we can do is out of the print line and uh, is logged in and here we're using session dot get attribute to retrieve this attribute okay and uh, like this one yeah sorry okay and uh, here we will uh user user equals Requ uh, session I, don't know. I have to done casting right uh, request I don't know so session dot get attribute and what what I used a uh, user okay and uh, if user not enough then we display the username and the password uh, out dot print line okay uh, uh, user dot get first name this is your name okay and user dot last name this is password okay and else else out dot print line uh, no session attributes attribute no user session attribute like this how about that got it this is a redirect to result page if it works and uh, if not i will redirect to send redirect to login which means uh, go to the go here and it will call to get but if you if you using a uh, forward it will always in the post then you are gonna have a stack overflow issue okay so now let's uh, deploy this application and uh, to do a uh, them to show the behavior happened in the browser. Okay. Um, oh. Okay. I, I, I was uploading. I'm uploading my videos. So probably I will show you using the using. Oh, let's let's using uh, not using Chrome okay my Chrome is doing something else now so I'll, I'm gonna show you using the Safari and Safari does Safari but Safari how can I, how can I, Safari how can I open the developer tool <laughs> I don't know how to use Safari to open developer tool oh let's close it okay I don't know okay I think it's fine now okay it's fine now it should be fine now okay so now let's uh, let's uh, take a look at the application so far local host is nothing right and uh, our network is empty okay now what I'm gonna do is we go we make a call to login.html okay login.html and uh, so far 
okay and uh, it display the form right okay let's see it display form username password and so far the cookie still is empty right nothing in the cookie and when we go to network it will uh, have just the uh, Almost everything is the default values. Just to display the uh, HTML file. Now, if I put miss xing, which is a match our the miss xing, it will set the session. Okay, then you redirect to result page. Now, now let's uh, let's let's go. Okay, when I click submit, okay, it is successful. Okay, because it's a redirect, so it actually has two two requests. You can see it has two requests because it has a redirect, right? So first, let me show you the application. You see here, here, cookie, cookie. It have a gestation ID, and this is a random number generated by the Tomcat. Because from our code, our code, I didn't have any place to set the session, right? Uh, so, so to set the cookie, right? And this piece, this session ID is done automatically by Tomcat. When you you when you trying to set attribute, then Tomcat assume you want to maintain a conversational state. So Tomcat will generate a session ID which is you used to uniquely identify a particular user. And uh, how is uh, how is done? Let's go back to network. You take a look at the login. See here. Yeah, 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 sorry. Because we are using redirect. Redirect has two requests, right? One is uh, here, okay. And here, when we use in session, you will see it has a set of cookie. See here. The first request, login. See here, login. This is a post request, login, and it have a cookie. Set a cookie, and this thing is not done by us, right? We didn't write any cookie or response dot add cookie. It's done by the uh uh what's the name? Tomcat. Okay, and then in the result page, when you see uh re request header, request header, it should have a cookie. See here, cookie just session ID, and now in the result page. Where is this session? Where is our login and the user? How can we uh where to retrieve? It's based on the this session IDs. If you're using another browser, suppose this is a result page, we can access multiple times. You can see because the different tab in one browser is considered as the same uh, user. But if I using another browser, go to this result page, you will see. Logged in now, no session, no no user session ID attribute, because uh, I directly access here and uh, that's uh, I don't have any place to generate the uh, what's thing the session ID and uh, in my browser this I, I don't know how to see developer tool in <laughs> using in in Cro oh, what's thing the Chrome uh no Safari I don't know but uh, I think I'm I can do we can try again. So far, we can still see it's logged in, right? But now, if I quit, quit. Okay, this one let me quit. I hopefully hope hope my video upload successfully. Okay, and if I go here again, we can go here to check the the thing, and we can check localhost is already gone. And if we go to the result page, it's already. It's it's it thinks it's a uh, kind of like a new request again. Got it? Because you closed the browser. And uh, let's go to login dot html. Yeah. And then if I type something else, which means uh, I have to remove this one. Clear. Type something else. Submit. It will go back to the login page. It won't generate. Let me try one more time to show you. Okay. Uh, Localhost login dot html. Okay. And we open. No, no, right? Here doesn't have any cookie. But if, if we do like this way, 
it will go to login page and if we go to result you will see no session attribute i don't know how why this one is generated hmm. why this one is generated but it still doesn't have this one doesn't have this one on the server side if it's existing it is still it will have a session id okay i don't know how why this one is being generated okay which is weird suddenly it existing here i don't know this one see here let me see mm, let's take a look at it okay okay login login page no cookie no cookie no cookie no cookie request response header no cookie okay so now if i type something else is it because i forward here still no cookie but why is sometimes they have cookie anyway I'll, I'll forget about it okay 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 no not so far no do i have a cookie here still no cookie i don't know what uh, if we go to result directly oh it might because here in the result that's what i guess is because here i actually uh, retrieve that course it uh, create a cookie because i used the session api but it, which is uh, weird okay when i retrieve network here response header here have a set of cookie okay which is because i used hgb session apis okay if not used you won't generate any cookie right but here it actually kind of like a set of cookie for here okay but anyway it cannot get a result you can see here doesn't it get a result every time it's gonna generate a new one because there's no nothing there's nothing being set here with with uh, with this uh, cookie uh, with this gestation id identifier there's nothing on the server side which is a uh, bind to this uh, gestation id okay so uh makes sense okay so that's it for uh this demo um very brief demo to show you uh the session is uh, maintained uh, through cookie okay and that's it and uh, hope you like it anyway see you tomorrow bye bye